Aloha and welcome to the first virtual celebration to recognize our new and renewed National Board Certified Teachers. We're going to try this again. My name is Logan Okita. I'm the Secretary Treasurer for the Hawaii State Teachers Association and a National Board Certified Teacher at Nimitz Elementary. I know how challenging the National Board journey can be. I started the journey because I was looking for the next challenge in my growth as a teacher. The National Board process is a great way for teachers to reflect on their practice and consider how what they are doing impacts the students and their learning. The last year has been especially trying on everyone, including our teachers. They were asked to change their practice and move to a virtual environment. They had to find ways to connect and build community with their students and often put academic lessons on hold to provide the comfort needed for our students as they too navigated the unknown. Staying true to the professionalism and strength that we expect of our teachers, the National Board Network added 5,470 newly certified teachers and 3,957 teachers renewed their certificates during the pandemic. These numbers bring the number of National Board certified teachers to 118,000 across the nation and the District of Columbia. Among those newly certified were 22 teachers from Hawaii. We also had 22 teachers commit to renewing their certificate. This brings our own Hawaii network to 744 NBCTs. Today, we celebrate these teachers and the positive impact they are making to our classrooms. National board certification is the gold standard for accomplished teaching based on standards created by teachers for teachers. These standards define what teachers must know and be able to do to advance student learning. The Hawaii National Board Certified Teachers are leaders in their schools. Teach not take the National Board Certification journey alone. We would like to take a moment to thank the different organizations that support our teachers in their journey. Four organizations work together to provide financial support, training, and collaboration for the teachers as they work toward their certification. We would like to recognize the Hawaii State Teachers Association, the Hawaii Teachers Standards Board, and Kamehameha Schools for providing the resources needed to help teachers move through each part of the requirements. We would also like to thank the Hawaii Department of Education for recognizing the that is required of teachers for the certification and placing value on work with the financial incentives that are provided once a teacher is certified. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Peggy Brookins. We are honored that she was able to take time to send our NBCs a personal message. Peggy Brookins, NBC, joined the National Board as Executive Vice President in December 2014 and named President and CEO in November 2015. Her long career as an educator includes many national leader positions and accolades. In July 2014, President Barack Obama named Brookins as a member of the President's Advice Commission on Educational Excellence for African Americans. She is the National Board for the Engineering and Mac Manufacturing Institute of Technology at Forest High School in Ocala, Florida. She, when she founded in 1994 and where served as director and as a mathematics instructor. Please play the video. Aloha and mahalo for inviting me to be with you today. Last year, I was with you in person for this event, and I just wish that COVID didn't interfere with me speaking with you in person. But I'm thrilled to be with you by video and join the local leaders in celebration of educators in Hawaii. It's especially meaningful to celebrate your commitment to students this year, because during my last visit last year, I met three educators who were then pursuing National Board certification. And this year, you are among the new MBCTs in the state being recognized and celebrated. I wanna start by acknowledging the strong program you've built in Hawaii that supports educators and encourages them to become National Board certified. You have 735 total MBCTs in the state, and by percentage, that's 12th most in the country. 
Kudos to Tracy and the team for doing the hard work to make sure that students receive the best possible education. You're having an impact on students, schools, and communities benefit from that. Your work to uplift teachers has expanded to have a regional impact. That regional impact on teachers is having a compounding impact on students. Over a career, it's not just hundreds, but thousands of students who benefit from each new National Board Certified Teacher. So to all of you here who advocate on behalf of this work, on behalf of schools and communities, as well as families in the region, we are having an impact, so thank you. Together, you've helped to establish a landscape that values accomplished teaching. If Wikipedia is correct, Hawaii is 41st nationwide by total population, but you are 19th nationwide this year with 22 new MBCTs. One last data point to share. Lehoku Elementary School had three new MBCTs. That kind of change really impacts school culture, driving other teachers to pursue excellence and, of course, having an impact on students. I applaud the leaders in those schools. As a National Board Certified Teacher myself, gatherings like this one hold a deep personal significance. National Board Certification is known as our profession's highest mark of accomplished teaching. This is a significant professional achievement because it has been created by teachers for teachers, and it is based on our performance in the classroom on our own deep self-reflection on our teaching and an assessment of our content and pedagogical knowledge. For all you've accomplished, I'd like to think of this moment as the beginning of a new journey. To be as meaningful as board certification can really be, I challenge you to seize the opportunity and use your expertise to serve as teacher leaders, to represent the profession, and to serve as change agents in your school, district, state, and nationally. So now I ask you the important question, what lies ahead? What do you aspire to do? And what role does your certification play in that aspiration? National board certification is an excellent step in the right direction. So reground yourself, make a commitment to spread your instructional expertise. Will you mentor novice teachers? Will you support candidates through national board process? Will you blog about your experience, how your content understanding has grown through this process? As a leader, you'll have the opportunity to influence what happens in the education landscape. The notion of teacher leadership is perhaps the most significant concept I can ask you to focus on today because you have the capacity to continue delivering great learning opportunities for your students while expanding your impact beyond your classroom. This board certification you've achieved is the beginning of a journey to achieving remarkable things in education and the sky is the limit. So pick something and do it. We know that if you set your mind to something, you'll deliver. You've proven that. I'll reinforce to you that taking no action is not acceptable. So get active and advocate for issues that matter to you and your students. Create new programs for students and your school. Partner with local leaders like some of those with us today to address challenges that will have an impact. What I most want you to realize is that your national board certificate is not a piece of frame cardstock on a wall. It's so much more than that. It's a tool to leverage as a leader for system change, for better schools, for teachers, and for successful students. From our founding in 1987, the National Board's mission has been to advance the quality of teaching and learning through a voluntary advanced certification. Today, more than ever, that mission is of greater importance. For many of us, as long as we could remember, we wanted to be a teacher. The opportunities and challenges facing teaching are like nothing we have ever experienced in generations. When each of you committed to the journey of National Board Certification, you accepted what a growing body of research told us. 
the national board process transforms teaching, impacts student achievement, and enhances communities. You also show that you have the courage and the willingness to transform our educational system. Your impact will be forever etched in the lives you touch, by the relationships you build, and the opportunities you create. Thank you for what you've accomplished for yourselves, your students, your communities, and for the teaching profession. Congratulations to all of you. Our teachers' voices are a huge part of this journey. We would like to share with you now two of our honorees and their experiences with gaining certification. My name is Brittany Niesman and I am currently a temporary vice principal and curriculum coordinator. While I've always held my students to high expectations, going through the national board certification process gave me a deeper understanding of what to do with the information I know about my students, whether it's personally, academically, their strengths or needs, it made me reflect on how I provide each one of my students with equitable and quality instruction. The process has gotten me to a place in my career where I'm intentionally creating purposeful learning environments and collaborating with other professionals. I look forward to becoming an administrator one day being a national board certified teacher means making a greater impact on individual student learning needs and achievement, influencing teachers to become leaders themselves, or simply influencing teachers to improve their teaching and learning practices. As John Quincy Adams said, a great leader is someone who inspires others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more. And that's what I do as a National Board Certified Teacher. Aloha everyone. Earning National Board Certification is not the end of my quest to be the best I can be in the classroom. This certification is one of the many stepping stones for success I have undertaken over the years. NBCT took me nearly two years to complete and it was far the most challenging endeavor I have done in my career. The process literally changed how I approach instruction in the classroom. I have become much more intentional about what I will teach and how I teach it. It pushed me to the next level and I see teaching and learning through a different lens. Knowledge of each individual student is the foundation of all that takes place in my classroom. I also learned to be more analytical, and to look at and spend more time with each piece of student work. I always knew the work students do is the evidence of their learning and it offers important data to the teacher. But through this certification process, I learned to deeply reflect on their work and gauge whether or not I had taught them, I had taught them. And if I discovered it was not getting through, I needed to face the reality and go forward with a new plan of action to impact my students' learning. As a lifelong learner, I will continue to seek professional development opportunities. My hopes and dreams is that my achievement will inspire others to follow my footsteps and that one day, our school may be known as the charter school with all the NBCTs. I truly believe that excellence in teaching and learning is the best gift I can give to our keikis. Mahalo. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce the Honorable David Ige, Governor of our state and First Lady Don Amano Ige. This has been an unprecedented year for our state. Governor Ige worked tirelessly to keep our own safe. Through his time as governor, he has made remodeling public education to prepare students for the innovation economy of the 21st century. The pandemic did not dis diminish this work as new ways were found to support students and teachers in a virtual environment. 
He has been open to collaborating with the community, safely open our state back up so that Hawaii's people can start to work and thrive again. Governor and First Lady. Good afternoon and aloha everyone. It is such a pleasure to be here. While this ceremony is virtual, it is so exciting to see everyone. Today is a celebration, six feet apart with mask, of course, with your colleagues, administrators, mentors, and family members, and all the others who supported you through this rigorous process. We all know how demanding the certification is. And this past year, you had to cope with and rise above the challenges presented by the pandemic. And still, you were able to submit your entry. This process is one of much reflection in teaching. And in teaching and leading, reflection is a key element in helping us to go forward. We make our students reflect often. I know I did. So please take what you've learned in this process and in the pandemic and use that to innovate and lead. Help us to see how we can change and improve education for all of our students. On the certification website, a teacher said, national board certification was a gift to herself and to her students and that it bonded her to her profession. I believe it is also a gift to our state, the state of Hawaii. Thank you and congratulations. <clears throat> Aloha from a proud public school graduate. Congratulations to the 22 newly certified teachers, along with the 22 teachers who renewed their certification. This past year has been a challenging one, and yet you have adapted and gone above and beyond to obtain the gold standard of teaching certifications. The data shows that students learn more from national board certified teachers such as yourselves and this impact is even greater for our higher need students. I cannot thank you enough for your commitment to your students. And I want to assure you that we are continuously working to improve our protocols to keep you and our keiki safe. Congratulations once again. Let's continue to build a better Hawaii, one student at a time. Mahalo. Thank you, Governor and First Lady Ige. Next, I'd like to introduce Dr. Fina Kishimoto, the Superintendent of the Hawaii Department of Education. Dr. Kishimoto is hands-on superintendent as seen through her social media presence. During her year, the Hawaii Department of Education is focused on a vision for student teacher success with systemic transformations, including a new school performance system, internet benchmark standards, updated assessments, more rigorous diploma requirements, and robust teacher and principal evaluations, all to ensure graduates succeed in college or careers. Dr. Kishimoto? Aloha, thank you, Logan. I appreciate the warm welcome. On behalf of the department, I want to congratulate the 44 teachers statewide who have earned and renewed the National Board for Professional Teaching Standards Certification. Hawaii's growing network of national board certified teachers now consists of 744 proud members. This group of educators showcase their leadership through tenacious, tenacious efforts and relentless commitment amid a disruptive pandemic. I applaud each and every one of you. This year's group challenged themselves and their peers to think outside of the box and navigate through disruptions that no one was trained for. Their burning passion to continually learn and improve the way they connect with their students is inspirational. These educators voluntarily undertook and completed the teaching profession's highest mark of achievement through a rigorous performance-based process, demonstrating their impact on student learning and achievement. This rigorous process can take anywhere from one to three years and involves intensive commitment. The renewal process is just as demanding, requiring teachers to demonstrate professional growth. It's fitting that we take the time to recognize this effort and mark of distinction. As previously mentioned, our teachers do not set off on this journey alone. 
I want to give a heartfelt mahalo to the Hawaii State Teachers Association, Hawaii Teachers Standards Board, Kamehameha Schools, and the National Board for Professional Teaching Standards Network for their support. Additionally, I want to extend my gratitude to Governor and First Lady Ige for their support in continuing to provide equitable access to public education. Providing access to high quality public education is a collective responsibility. I encourage our board certified teachers to share their experiences with their peers and continue nurturing the relationships of colleagues they've met throughout this process. According to the National Board, for professional teacher standards, students of board certified teachers gain one to two months of additional learning each year compared to their peers. Furthermore, they demonstrate evidence of deeper learning nearly three times more frequently than their peers. I am excited for, for our teachers to incorporate what they have learned during this, their program into their classrooms. By earning this distinction, this distinguished national certification our teachers have shown that they are ready to do their part as we work to keep delivering on our mission. Mahalo and with great gratitude. Thank you, Dr. Kishimoto. Our next speaker is Wendy Erskine, who serves as Po'okumu Principal for Hope Kamehameha Schools Kapa'alama High School. Ms. Erskine is committed to Kamehameha's mission of providing a world-class Hawaiian culture-based education so that Haumana can thrive, achieve their personal and professional aspirations, and become leaders in their ohana, local and global communities. Aloha mai kako. My name is Wendy Erskine, and I'm the high school principal here at Kamehameha Schools Kapalama. I'm honored to be able to share our congratulations for this prestigious honor to all of the kumu in the state of Hawaii that are being recognized for national board certification. The National Board's mission has been to advance the quality of teaching and learning through a voluntary advanced certification. That vision is inspired by the model from other professions such as medicine, where board certification symbolizes accomplished practice, both within the profession and in the larger community. We are honored to play a small role in being able to support our teachers as they work towards this prestigious certification. This year, we're excited to congratulate the 22 new National Board Certified Teachers in Hawaii as they join the ranks of the 744 in our state and 128,000 teachers nationwide. As we have seen during this last year, education is a crucial component in our ability to create and sustain a society and culture. Our educators have been determined, passionate and creative to figure out how to provide a quality education to our students online, in person, and through PPE. I remain humbled and grateful for all that you've done. To the families that have supported and sacrificed to help, our, to help support our Kumu through this process, thank you. As a former educator, the work does not stop when our Kumu leave work, and they have not reached this accomplishment without knowing that their ohana has been behind them every step of the way. When I reflect on the five core propositions of national board certification, of commitment to students and their learning, knowledge of the subjects they teach and how to teach them, responsibility for managing and monitoring student learning, thinking systematically about your practice and learning from the experience, and being a member of a learning community. I'm so thankful that you've done such an amazing job of demonstrating all of these qualities. Congratulations on your achievement. Mahalo for your dedication to your homana, school, and profession. We are so proud of the work that each and every one of you have had to demonstrate and knowing that there are thousands of students in Hawaii that have benefited from your ike. Mahalo nui. Mahalo. Our next speaker is Brandon Kawazoi, chairperson of the Hawaii Teacher Search Board. Brandon is the 11th grade counselor at Kaiser High School and has over years of experience in the education system. The Hawaii Teacher Standards Board is proud to one of the education partners that support national board education in Hawaii. Aloha fellow educators. My name is Brandon Kawazori, chairperson of the Hawaii Teacher Standards Board. Today we recognize what is right about school educators, that is, those who went beyond licensure and reached to national level standards. I know very well that the process is rigorous. It involved your students, colleagues, and added effort. You had to demonstrate to a panel of national educators that you have the right stuff to be awarded the highest level of certification for teachers, the national board certification. Your curriculum, instructional strategies, and assessment of your students 
have been validated nationally. I hope that throughout this certification process that you reflected on your art of teaching and felt really good about yourself. I'm so happy for your students too. We all look up to you for what you have accomplished and for your guidance as we educate the Keikioka Aina. On behalf of the Hawaii Teacher Standards Board and the stakeholders that we represent, Ho'omai Ka'i, congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Kawazoi. I would now like to recognize the 2020 newly certified National Board Certified Teachers. We will give a few seconds to view the information for each BCT. If you want to see this information again, the video will be available for replay on our HSTA's Facebook and YouTube channel. As I call your name, if you have an NBCT pin that was mailed to you, please put it on your shirt. Prefer Akana, full education, early adolescence through young adult. Abigail Andres, generalist, early childhood. Leah Ark Inoka, Science, Adolescence, and Young Adulthood. Allison Awai, Literacy, Reading Language Arts, Early and Middle Childhood. Kagan Bruce, Literacy, Reading Language Arts, Early and Middle Childhood. Regina Byram, Mathematics, Adolescence, and Young Adulthood. Shelley Deakins, Science, Early Adolescence. Trev Gilligan, Social Studies, History, Adolescence, and Young Adulthood. Josephine Harding, Literacy, Reading Language Arts, Early and Middle Childhood. Lori Harris, School Celine, Early Childhood through Young Adulthood. Tiare Kayalau, Literacy, Reading Language Arts, Early and Middle Childhood. Jenna Kaupuiki, Literacy, Reading Language Arts, Early and Childhood. Jenny Khan, Generalist, Middle Childhood. Chris Lawler, Generalist, Early Childhood. Jamie Lee, School Counseling, Early Childhood through Young Adult. Toby Mia Sherrill, Literary, Reading Language Arts, Early and Middle Childhood. Deborah Moon, Exceptional Needs Specialist, Early Childhood through Young Adult. Brittany Niesman, SD, Reading Lang Arts, Early and Middle Childhood. Joseph Rozgalski, Early Adolescence Through Young Adulthood. Holly Uehura, sorry, Holly Uehara, Generalist, Early Childhood. Sorry, Holly. Jeffrey Conad Uemura, Social Studies, History, Adolescence, and Young Adulthood. Micah Woods, Physical Education, Early Adolescence through Young Adulthood.
Now, I would like to recognize those who have renewed their certification. Moani Iona, School Counseling, Early Childhood through Young Adult. Amanda Bono, Generalist, Early Childhood. Dane Kanita, Social Studies, History, Adolescence, and Young Adult. Pamela Chun, Literacy, Reading Language Arts, Early and Middle Child. Matthew D, English Language Arts, Aston, and Young Adult. Adrian Flor, Exceptional Needs, Early Childhood through Young Adult. Shiloh Francis, Social Studies, History, Adolescence, and Young Adult. Emily Haynes Swadek, Career and Technical Education, the Adolescence through Young Adult. Karen Hannon Del Rey, English Language Arts, Early Adolescence. Crystal Kondo, in language arts, adolescence, and young adulthood. Mickey Kubel, literacy, reading, language arts, early middle childhood. Lindsay Lindbach, social studies, history, early adolescence. Jonathan Maderos, English Language Arts, Adolescence and Young Adulthood. Jennifer Middleton, Literacy, Reading Language Arts, Early and Middle Childhood. Diane Mokuwal, Query Media, Early Childhood through Young Adulthood. Sadie Mon, Science, Adolescence, and Young Adulthood. Laura Peterson, Exceptional Needs Specialist, Early Adulthood through Young Adulthood. Sorry, Young adult, Adulthood. Tori Rinley, Social Studies, History, Adolescence, and Young Adulthood. Harmony Sievert, Exceptional Needs Specialist, Early Childhood through Young Adulthood. Amy Swiski, Adolescence through Young Adulthood. Lynn Yamada, Science, Adolescence through Young Adulthood. Lisa Yanase, Generalist, Middle Childhood. Maha for joining us tonight to celebrate the important achievement of these National Board Certified Teachers their dedication and commitment to providing quality education for the children of Hawaii deserves our praise and utmost respect. We hope that they will continue to serve as inspirations to the teaching profession, our communities, and most importantly, to our keiki. Mahalo for joining us this evening.